Hi, everybody. Good afternoon or good evening. My name is Howard Tarnoff and I'm going to demonstrate for you how we put together uh, TPN uh, feeding uh, for my wife, Wanda. Uh, first of all, the only thing you've missed is that I've sanitized my hands completely and I've put on rubber gloves and I've actually taken the TPN formula, which is 2000 cc's a formula that's specifically mixed to my wife's requirements. And I'm placing this into the backpack, which is kind of a self-contained unit that allows one to maneuver around while bringing the nutrition with you, if you will. So we secure that with Velcro, and then we strap it down with two additional straps and it sits very, very nicely in the, in the uh, backpack. So the next step of the process is, um, there are, uh, this is called Pepsid, it's to settle one's stomach. And these, these two are multivit, the, the, these are multivitamins. And this, this clear one is the Pepsid. We're gonna open these, take the safety caps off. And of course, we're then going to take a alcohol pad and we're going to sanitize the tops of the, of the vitamin bottles themselves. Very, very important that when you're dealing with TPN that you make sure that you introduce no possibility, zero, there's zero tolerance for any possibility of bringing drugs into the equation or infections into the equation, excuse me. Hmm. Okay, and then next, this is the injection site in the feeding tube itself. Um, so the feeding bag, and we're going to rub that very, very well. It's just a rubber cap. Uh, it comes exposed, so it one never knows what's happen there so we do a great job of cleaning that site and then we take our first hypodermic needle I always like to give the needle a little twist to make sure it's on tight that's a, a, a 10 milliliter syringe with a some kind of a number 20 or 22 needle and then we inject one of the this in this case it's the pepsid and we're going to actually draw all four milliliters into the syringe. And then a little trick I've learned is to hold the syringe plunger with a vacuum pressure and slide it out. And then, of course, you want to make sure that there is no air in the syringe. So you just bring it right up to where you can see it. And a couple of drips come out. And then we inject the feeding tube with the Pepsid. And then we're gonna set this syringe aside, grab another syringe, give it a little twist to make sure the needle's on tight. I've learned the hard way that you had to do that. And then we're gonna do the same process. We're gonna draw down five milliliters out of this uh, little vial. And again, we're going to pull the needle down, make sure that we get 100% of it, and then slide it off. So, and then again, we're going to push the air out. And that is part A of the multivitamin. And then we're going to also retrieve part B of the multivitamin. It's a two part solution. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to just draw it down to the 10 milliliter level. Make sure we got all the contents out. And now what we're going to do next is we're going to withdraw any air, we're going to force any air out of the syringe. And we're now going to inject the uh, multivitamin into the other parts of the formula. formula. And now the next step of the process is kind of the easiest one. 
And this is where we, you know, it's like they say, shaken, not stirred. So we are shaking, shaking the bag. It's almost like kneading dough. All right. This is the pump which contains the program which dispenses the uh, formula. There are two, two batteries in the back. The batteries um, takes about half the power out of the batteries, so we always insert a new pair of batteries uh, into, the, into the pump and close the battery door and then lock the battery door. So here's the pump. It's uh, pretty much already programmed. There's not a lot that has to be done. This is the feeding tube itself. And again, it's something that we have to be very, very careful of to make sure that we do not introduce any, any new kinds of bacteria. You'll see that one end is capped. The other end has a uh, kind of a pointed uh, clear plastic piece. Um, take another alcohol swab and we very carefully clean this end of the line and I'll move the pump out of view and then on on the bag itself there's another port there's actually two other ports the middle one is where they fill it and then there's the feeding port take the alcohol swab Clean the port on the bag. Clean, clean the end of the feeding tube very well. Make sure we have that nice and clean. And then we carefully insert the feeding tube into the feeding bag. <clears throat> Takes a little bit of a stopping to get that to work. And that's that. Now, for some strange reason, the manufacturer puts this little round yellow tab on the back of this yellow part of the feeding tube. And inside of the, of the, um, of, of, of the unit itself, there are two points where two different tabs need to be inserted. So the first one is a little blue peg. Uh, I hope you can see that. The second one is yellow. The blue peg goes right in the side over here. The yellow goes to the far end. And then there is a simple clamping process to make sure that that is all engaged properly. And then the pump gets inserted into this little pocket and it's held in also with Velcro. And then what we do is we simply close the, the backpack. And that's exactly what it is. You could wear this on your back if you were a little stronger. Uh, there are straps, uh, but it's quite easy for Wanda to carry around by the handle. So that's how you get ready for feeding. I hope you enjoyed it. Our next step in the process is going to be to run the pump on prime to get all the air out of the line and then I'll connect Wanda and we'll run for the next 12 hours. Have a nice night.